Hey guys, it's P. I'm sure it comes as very little shock to find out that I run the majority of my life on Notion. However, the thing that I probably use Notion most for is in my day-to-day -day work as an account manager. The template I'm going to walk you through today is exactly the one that I use to run my everyday workflow. This will be an excellent tool for any of my account managers, customer success, customer engagement, sales, almost everyone in nearly every industry can actually use this. There's just a couple things that are specifically helpful to people that manage accounts and deal with customers. With that, let's jump in. This is what you will see when you first arrive on the template itself. I like to start every walkthrough with a reminder to come in here, change your icon, change your banner, personalize it. Um, because this is your desk now. First, we want to just cover the basic anatomy of the page. For starters, we have account tasks, which we will discuss in a moment here. Then I have a week and month agenda view coming down here. A couple links to an account tracker. This is where it kind of splits off into account manager sales land. But if you hail from a different part of the industry, Again, you can just delete the stuff that doesn't pertain. Got a general notebook, opportunities, again, sales, account management, and praise, which I'll jump into. And then kind of a, a couple quick places to throw to-do lists, things that you are sprinting through toward the end of the week, let's say, and broad look, broad overview. So with that, let's jump into this week. This is a pretty straightforward one. I believe it is just an overview of your week agenda, essentially. And the really cool thing where this kind of deviates from a normal Google Calendar schedule, let's say, is, well, I will show you. Let me first add a little soliloquy, shall I? At the beginning of each week on a Monday, I will schedule a quick little block for myself to sit down, sort of split screen, look at my Google Calendar, look at this, and input all of those meetings and different time blocking activities so that I know what I'm doing on that given day. And here's where it becomes useful. And I don't even like to hear the idea or the thought that might be going through your head telling you that sounds like a little bit of a double work situation. No, it's not because this is, this is your, your workflow dashboard now, okay? Here's an example of inputting an event or a task. If you come next to new, and hit that little down, you'll see a bunch of tasks that I essentially just added in that I figured most people go through on a daily basis. I'm going to go ahead and add weekly team meeting, for instance. When I do that, I'll assign a date. It will immediately, of course, populate into the weekly agenda as well as the month calendar view. Month great way to mass move things, good way to see your sort of at a glance, month by month schedule, see what you've done, commiserate or celebrate whatever you feel is necessary. I usually keep it on week view, feel like it's a little bit more useful. You can come in here, let's say it is a team meeting. If you need to take notes, all you do is hit enter start taking notes here. One more quick neat feature about this, like everywhere else, you can tag things, which then you can just click and it brings you right to that page. Likewise, if you have a meeting with an account, let's say, you can just add them. And let's see if I have example primary corporation and you say, check in some, oh, not like that, check in. Then later on, you know, you're looking at this, but you can click right into that account and it will bring it up. Uh-oh, a little spoiler alert. Let's actually dive into what this is that you're looking at. So right below the week and month schedule, we come to links. First one we're gonna jump into is accounts. Again, I'm an account manager. If you are also one, you will understand that if you are managing a large portfolio book of business of several accounts, things are hard out here to keep track of. So that is why I originally built this. This is the upgraded version to a video that I made about a year ago. 
going to be putting out that same video, updated, upgraded. You should check that out. I'll actually be diving in way deeper in that video than here. Just a couple things I wanna to touch on. You can see I have it split into a couple different sections here. So we have new. I have new because as you may new, when you get a new account, sometimes they require a little bit different level of attention and being on top of different dates and check-ins and those things. So we have new in sort of its own category, so you could keep track of that. Moving over to primary, which is likely where the majority of your accounts will lie, we have a sample account I will dive into here in a minute. Then we have secondary accounts. Maybe that doesn't pertain to you, so you can just ignore it. Churned, hmm and then no AM, we'll, we'll get into that, ignore that for now. So this is the board view, also have a gallery view. All of your accounts, both new and primary, will show up here so that you can just kind of see them all at a glance. But jumping back over into board view, couple things that we have visible, their industry, I have a couple different ones preloaded in here, delete whatever doesn't apply, add whatever does. Business description will pop up here and when you last contacted them. It's also sorted by when you last contacted them as well so that you can see who maybe you need to go catch up with. Let's click into here. This is what the inside of an actual account looks like. So a couple things I wanna to touch on. First, communication. This is the chef's kiss probably of any feature on here. Of course, we all know, I just kind of talked about it, how important note-taking is and the ability to, in a future meeting, look back on the past, see what you talked about. And not every little detail and thing is pertinent enough to then live in Salesforce or whatever CRM equivalent you're using. That is why this comes in such handy. So you come in here and you have a meeting. As you can see, I have a couple different templates set up here, client or customer meeting. I also have internal, if you meet with cross department, sales, account management, however that works for you. Come in here, there's some notes and then there's a place for action items. So you can just kind of copy and paste those tasks wherever you need to put them in your CRM. Popping down here to open opportunities. We'll cover that in literally one minute. Place for notes generally, especially background notes. Like if you have an account transitioned over to you, that's a great spot for that. Place for account plans, contact list. If you have multiple, you just come here. You can either hit duplicate or you can hold down command or control D. And as many contacts as there are, you can create here. Have a couple checklists here as well. So if you have a specific list of to do items uh, when you're onboarding a new account, come here and hit edit, and then you can just add those in there. That way, when you click this again, they'll all populate. Same with anything that looks like this, any button, you click edit, edit it, and then done. Those edits will reflect next time you click the button. And then I have a re-engagement checklist as well for those just accounts that need extra tender love and care. Let's jump back up here into opportunities. If we're talking about the beloved Salesforce or other CRM, and it's an idea, and it's great, upsell, cross-sell, whatever sell. However, it might not be legit enough necessarily to make a true opportunity on your respective CRM. That's why I made this little board. If I come in here after this check-in with name, I might have discussed something with them that might be an additional good solution for them. So I'm going to come here and hit this new button, sample, sample opportunity. You'll see it automatically when I hit new, selected this account, and then you can go through and kind of fill out the rest of these fields. So date opened, I'll just say today. It will say last update whenever you last changed anything about it, and then a type. So if you guys deal with cross sells and upsells, then you can specify that here. This is great to store ideas. Again, somewhere to put them. Additionally, click into this and you'll see brainstorming section and then just general notes. You know, you can even tag today and you can say discussed on check-in and you can even tag the check-in even though it's like right there but 
That way you click right into this and you can see the notes that you took. As you go on with the flow, you just kind of drag it through its natural sales cycle. I'm gonna show you where this lives because you don't actually have to come into each account to find your open opportunities. No, no, we're gonna jump back into my desk and you'll notice right here, we have opportunities. There's an ops board, so it shows every open opportunity you have in its respective state. And again, you can drag these along. It will of course reflect directly on that account. So we see that that moved positions. Cool, let's jump back again into the template. Quickly wanted to touch on notebook. When I go through any training, any learning, enablement, etc. in general, if you are just learning a new thing, I come in here and I just add a note. Have y'all noticed that Notion literally, it starts with note. There's, there's no better place, I don't know. All right, moving right along. One more thing down here is praise. A list of essentially professional goals and achievements um, all in one place. So if you ever receive a positive piece of feedback, you can come in here, just hit new. You could screenshot that or just type it in here. Like manager said I'm good. This is really nice to have a place to come and reflect when you're having kind of a, an off day where you're not feeling super great. You can come see why you're great. Now for the last portion of this, but definitely not the least. Right up at the top, you'll see in this toggle, we have an account task database. Obviously we have all these different customers, different accounts. It might not be the most efficient thing to click into each individual account to see what's going on. That is why I built this. The first thing you're gonna see is due today. So when you start using this, anything that has a due date of today or any time before will end up here. Go over these different fields. So first we have status. Most of these are pretty intuitive. Not started, uh, in progress, complete. Complete will filter things from open to completed. So they'll disappear from here. For this example, I'm going to do sample ink and have that here. So if you are putting a task in due today or urgent or any of these up here that are split into different things, it's automatically going to populate, for instance, with the due today with a due date that is today. You might remember I said ignore for now the no AM. Okay, here we have all accounts, new accounts, slow accounts. These are essentially dummy, empty accounts that reflect groups, not specific ones. So moving back to this, I'm gonna come in here and this might be like ABRs. So annual business reviews. We might need to have that with all of our accounts. Maybe it's by the end of the year. This could even be an, a good example of an ongoing task. Let's hop into this. I'm going to click all accounts task because again, it is whatever task should be associated with all of your accounts. In order to start to properly use this feature, the only thing that you need to come and do is come up here to the down arrow next to all accounts task, just edit it, and then quickly come to this edit button, input your account names here. You'll know that you're in the right place if it says you're editing a template in account tasks. That tells you that you are editing this and any changes you make to the body of this template will be reflected in every single account task moving forward. So that said, if in the future you get new accounts or transition current accounts over to someone else, you just come back in here and make those changes. Come back in here to ABRs. Once you change that button to have all of your accounts within it, hit populate accounts, all of them will show up here. This is really nice to keep track of where you are with ABRs in this case. So that way you can also type notes like reached out today, waiting for a response. And then you can even say like follow up in two weeks and create a reminder for yourself. That is pretty much it on the account task front. In fact, that might be it overall. I hope that you find this as useful as I do on a daily basis. If you like this template and want to use it for yourself, click the link in the description below. That'll take you over to Gumroad where you can find this 
and all of my other templates and all of the ones to come. If you guys like learning how to best utilize Notion and get a little creative while you're doing it, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you think of literally any concept that you would like mapped out in Notion, comment those below. Thanks for watching again and happy working.